the of Egyptian, the Egyptian Hutu 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 represented by its our president, Dr. Sami Elwani, and its secretary, the Professor Dr. Osama Abdel Nasir, the president of the forum, for their continuous support. Thanks goes to my dear professor, Dr. Mohammed Badid Dean, the head of the Egyptian Working Group in Stop Care Surgery, and to all my dear friends, the members of the group, for their relentless effort to widespread the endoscopic surgery era in the Egypt and to uh, keep it pace developed globally. Last but not least, I want to welcome our high profile experts of endoscopic surgery from Africa. Uh, and I hope that the next meeting will be uh, a, a, a real encounter uh, after the pandemic, COVID-19 semester, inshallah. Uh, uh, finally, I want to thank the elite team and uh, for the, uh, the uh, hard work in organizing this meeting and uh, best wishes for the audience to make the maximum benefit of this meeting. Now, I'm proud to give the floor to uh, my dear professor, Dr. Sam Abnasir, the president of the forum. Welcome, Dr. Sam. Uh, thank you, Dr. Walid, uh, the very active member of the Egyptian in, uh, working group of endoscopic ear surgery and uh, uh, a very dear friend. Um, and let me uh, start by welcoming you all, uh, Your Excellency Dr. Adil Adawi, the ex-minister of health and the president of the Egyptian Medical Association, Dr. Sami Alwani, uh, the president of Egyptian ORL Society. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Badreddin, my new friend and uh, the, 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 the leader of uh, the endoscopic Egyptian group. Uh, it's an amazing night because tonight, uh, yes, this is our second uh, forum of endoscopic ear surgery uh, in collaboration with the Egyptian ORL Society and the Egyptian Working Group. But tonight is a special night as we are celebrating the launch of the Pan-African uh, Federation of Endoscopic Ear Surgery. Uh, we have uh, a lot of friends from many countries and we welcome uh, all of them. And uh, it's our pleasure that the last session of this meeting, uh, we will be uh, hearing all of them. And uh, we hope that this is the first step and we'd like to expand day by day to start uh, uh, a very good uh, field of cooperation with our continent. So it's one dream and one continent. Uh, let me introduce now uh, Professor Sami Alwani, the president of Egyptian ORL Society. Dr. Sami, please unmute yourself and start. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's my pleasure to be with you uh, in this meeting, the second forum of endoscopic ear surgery and first i'd like to welcome all participants from all over egypt uh, our national and international guest speakers african speakers and i'd like to welcome uh, professor dr adil adawi the former minister of health and president of the egyptian medical association uh, i should welcome uh, dr mohammed davidin my dear brother colleague and friend he is one of the uh, organizers of this meeting, but I think he is outside Egypt. I'd like to welcome him, uh, Professor Mohammed Badreddin. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the story uh, of the Egyptian Society of Otorhaingology with uh, endoscopic surgery started in June 19, uh, 2019, 2019, by organizing the first uh, forum for endoscopic ear surgery. Then in July, 2020, endoscopic ear surgery was part of the, our virtual uh, big meeting on endoscopy in ENT. And this year, we are organizing the second endoscopic ear surgery uh, forum. And at the meantime, we'll be launching the Pan African Federation of Endoscopic Ear Surgeons. So uh, tonight is a special, will be a special night for us. In fact, I should welcome and I should thank Professor Walid Munir. Uh, he is the man who did most of the work for in this forum. And uh, I thank him for his relentless efforts for organizing the meeting and, and for establishing the Pan-African Federation of Ear Endoscopic Ear uh, Surgeons. Uh, 
In fact, this meeting and the other meeting organized by the, the Egyptian or societies are in fact uh, aiming at uh, extending the training and updated knowledge to our uh, Egyptian colleagues. And now with the establishment of this meeting, we are uh, looking forward to extend our uh, the updated knowledge and the training to uh, colleagues all over uh, the uh, Africa. Uh, in fact, also, lastly, we started to work with the Egyptian Medical Association, headed by Professor Adel Adawi, and I'm sure that we will make good things with this cooperation. And now I have the chance to introduce to you Professor Dr. Adel Adawi, uh, former Minister of Health and President of the Egyptian Medical Association. Welcome, Dr. Adel. Uh, thank you, Professor Dr. Osami. Uh, thank you, Professor Dr. Osama, Dr. Walid. Uh, it's my great pleasure that I welcome you, our dear colleagues and distinguished guests in this forum of the Endoscopic Ear Surgery Working Group. Um, our dear organizers have generously and graciously introduced me as a guest of honor. I'm really grateful for that. Yet I don't see myself as the real guest. Uh, the Egyptian Endoscopic Ear Surgery Working Group has stemmed from the Egyptian ORL Society, which is in turn a dear member of the Egyptian Medical Association. Uh, as a president of the Egyptian Medical Association, I'm really actually at home in uh, With uh, What adds to this feeling is the valued participation of our dear larger family from Africa. Uh, the Pan-African Endoscopic Ear Surgeons Federation was founded under patronage of the Egyptian ORL Society, and the founding committee was formed of seven eminent African otologists with large experience in the field of endoscopic ear surgery. Uh, as I have heard from South Africa, from Kenya, Morocco, Sudan, and Algeria, um, jointly with the members of the Egyptian Working Group of Endoscopic Ear Surgery, who had many scientific activities in the last two or three years, as Professor Osama said. As you all know, we live, we live in the same continent our beloved continent, Africa. We share not only a common land, but also a similar environmental, social, and financial circumstances and challenges. Most importantly, we share a common future for our new generations and our countries. We have to benefit from the lessons we learned sometimes at a higher price from other continents in the world. Those who have established the concept of unifying efforts and exchanging experience, and those who are struggling to do so. Definitely, trusted and applicable research is an important pillar for development. A well-educated, perfectly trained doctor is a real asset to his country. Exchange of ex experience and skills, unifying and coordinating efforts all amplify the benefit. Uh, this new federation enjoys many points of strength and wide spectrum of great potentials. At the first gathering of surgeons interested in this type of surgery in Africa, and this is a great potential. It has the ability to spread the know-how of such minimally invasive surgery all over the continent. And definitely the Federation is perfectly capable for organizing scientific and educational activities and to conduct joint research. The Pan-African Endoscopic Ear Surgeons Federation is fully qualified to be the pioneer model of a fruitful and successful cooperation in the medical field in Africa through its state-of-the-art surgical technology. Finally, I'd like to thank all of you again for the invitation, wishing you all the success on your upcoming mission, and thanks for all of you for your valuable time. Thank you, Professor Al-Adwi. It's really an honor to have you with us. 
the leader of the, the whole Egyptian association. Thank you very much. And uh, those were really uh, a very impressive words from the heart towards our continent. Thank you very much. And now uh, uh, let me uh, introduce Dr. Uh, Walid Munir to give us a quick briefing on uh, the sessions of tonight. And uh, after that, we are going to start immediately uh, with the speakers. And we, we, we like, we are planning to uh, be uh, as scheduled. So pl please, Walid, give us a quick brief. Yes, uh, the events are, are going on for three sessions. The first session will be the basics of endoscopic surgery about the anatomy, radiology, and uh, the obstetrician tube rule. And the second session is for uh, special applications for the uh, endoscopic ear surgery, one by one. Then the third session will be the session of the launching of the Pan-African Endoscopic Ear Surgery Federation with the presentations, uh, which are demonstrative and very, very nice indeed, as we expect uh, all uh, of our high-profile African uh, guests. For you, Dr. Sam. Okay, uh, Dr. Sami, uh, please unmute yourself and start by introducing our uh, uh, eminent uh, first speaker, please. Unmute yourself, Dr. Sami, uh, first. We, we cannot hear you. Yes, now? Yes, okay. Uh, I'm lucky, in fact, to introduce Professor Mohammed Badreddin. As I said uh, in the end of the speech, that he's my colleague, old colleague, friend, and brother. And uh, he is also a pioneer in the scopic lip surgeon and an excellent skull based surgeon. Maybe some of you don't know this information. He's an excellent skull based surgeon. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Badreddin will give his lecture on domestic endoscopic anatomy from the temporary membrane to the internal odetic canal. Welcome, Dr. Mohammed. Uh, be before starting, Dr. Mohammed, if all of the speakers uh, have the time to be with us uh, till the end of the session, we may postpone the questions till the end. But if anybody has a commitment, we can take the, the questions immediately after his talk. So as you like, because you are the first one, you, you are going to put the, the plan of tonight to us. Uh, I think at the end would be great. We are all, okay. all staying, Dr. Osama. That would okay. be much better. OK, huh? go ahead, please. OK, so uh, first I will, uh, I will share my screen. Uh, I will just start uh, just just an, an introduction before I just go into uh, uh, the, the anatomy and I will my presentation will, will be very basic on the anatomy on the endoscopic anatomy of the ear from the external auditory canal till we reach the internal auditory canal so it's a it's actually like a temporal bone dissection endoscopic temporal bone dissection I just want to thanks before I start uh, honestly, all the organizing uh, committee, and uh, I thank uh, uh, Dr. Sami, Dr. Osama, uh, Dr. Walid, you made a great, great work and uh, to make it successful. And inshallah, it would be a very successful meeting. Uh, you, you, you are really the, the, the real soldiers that uh, made this come and made uh, our dream of Pan African uh, Endoscopic Ear Surgeon Federation to be. A dream that will that came true. So that's a great work. Uh, it's this actually uh, Pan, -Indos Pan African Endoscopic Ear Surgeon Federation was like uh, a dream. We worked on it several years ago. Actually, it's at least uh, a work that took five or six years, and many of the countries were starting endoscopic ear surgery. Uh, uh, each one alone, but grouping them all together will group the work together and will make real push forward. I thanks very much. Uh, they are all actually friends and colleagues, so I'm very happy to have them. I wished we they, they were we were together physically. It would have been great. So welcome to to have them all uh, in the in in association uh, for. Uh, going into the same target, the same objective, which is actually promoting the endoscopic ear surgery. And, uh, and just 
for, for the history, well, the endoscopic ear surgery, it's it started since 2008 by the International Working Group on Endoscopic Ear Surgery. And uh, since then, every place actually now in the world is going and uh, getting endoscopic. As you can see, it's, it's really going everywhere. And uh, that's because we, we have this uh, globalization of concepts. We are looking for glo globalization of the endoscopic ear surgery. And I can honestly tell you that endoscopic ear surgery is on the go and it's going everywhere now. And I'm sure that very soon, I regret, I will go and update this. So you see, we will have here lots of uh, uh, places going into uh, Africa and Africa will be uh, full of places having endoscopic ear surgery. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the endoscopic uh, anatomy going from the external auditory canal till the, uh, we go reach the internal auditory canal. I am going to uh, share my screen now about the anatomy. Uh, can, can you see now the, 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 the video? Are you, for, are you seeing the video now? Yes, yes, yes. That's great. Okay, so now this is actually a, a cadaveric dissection. So I'm going to be fast. We, I have like uh, 15 or 20 minutes maximum. And uh, I will pro proceed from the external auditory canal. This is exactly what we do in any temporal bone dissection. Uh, we start with the anatomy. We did that actually everywhere in the world. We travel everywhere. We do in temporal bone dissection, endoscopic temporal bone dissection now. Uh, luckily, we have in uh, one coming uh, in Alexandria that will be in, uh, in the searches of May, just after uh, Laid, and uh, we are doing actually now uh, this. So look here, we started by elevating, endoscopically elevating the tympanometal flap, and just by, in, in, by incising the external auditory canal skin and starting to dissect the, the, the skin, when we reach here, you start seeing the, 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 the annulus. And, uh, and as you look here, we have to see, we can see perfectly the annulus, start by elevating the tympanometal flap. And uh, you, you know, before I really go and, 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 and discuss, you know, the, the surgery, you feel the, the power of surgeon is when you are viewing better, the visualization. And that's the importance of having the endoscope into hand. It provides you with, with a visual, with the super visualization that you will make you feel you are confident enough because you see the anatomy uh, perfectly. Now here, we just started by elevating the tympanometal flap. We started seeing the corda tympani. And look, we still are in the beginning. And uh, we are, we, we, we remember, we have the, the endoscope in, in the left hand. So we start dissecting the, the, the tissue. And this is one of the very important way of dissection. It is a crocodile. You go with it and you take the alligator and you start your dissection softly and easily. That's actually here, I'm just uh, taking the posterior malleolar ligament pulling the posterior malleolar ligament and malleolar fold to reach here till the lateral process of the malleus. But that's actually here. This is the process space. This is the corda tympani. And just seeing the long process in the stapedial joint, the stapes, the stapedius tendon. Here, this bone is actually the styloid uh, uh, component, what we call the styloid bony component. We can even start to see the promontories around window. This is just by a simple elevation. And you, you start seeing the promontory Jacobson nerve, the, the, the funiculus, the infracochlear tunnel. We will go on again, but just I'm just showing how very fast you can immediately and very fastly see how you can visualize even the, the posterior cross and the interior cross and the, and the oval window. So that's actually here going very fast to see, and even the facial nerve started the cochlear reform process. Look how 
how easily and rapidly seeing, and not even that, but even the isthmus, I'm just in the beginning, in the first minute, and I could see the isthmus and see. We start, we continue now the dissection of the periosteum from over the handle of Marius, and look how we can softly take the tympanic membrane from over the handle of the malleus till we reach the most adherent part, which is actually the fibrous part, that is the umbo. And look here, that's uh, again, you see here, this is a prusic space, this is an area of the, uh, of the, uh, of the uh, uh, prusic space, and here is the umbo. And just when you reach the umbo, you have really to, to, have, to use a sharp instrument. So using a scissor is, is a perfect way. This is cutting exactly the fibrous band that from, the, from the tympanic membrane. You are liberating here. And now you can see the malleus, the neck, lateral process, the handle. And here you start seeing, this is the lateral, you see, this is a prusic space. So if you see the prusic space, well, the, the, the roof of the prusic space is the lateral malleolar ligament and fold. So the lateral malleolar ligament and fold is just here. And uh, you will have the anterior part is a, pouch of von Trolch and the posterior pouch of von Trolch. This is the posterior pouch of von Trolch is actually with the ventilation of the uh, Prusik space. Here is just the cochleariform process and we just continue our uh, exposure and seeing, well, this is a tendon of the tensor tympani muscle. Again, we can proceed. This is the styloid component, the back of the styloid bone. And as you can see, this is Jacobson nerves that reach, that run over the promontory and reach till the area of the uh, cochleariform process. Sorry, what happened? just repeating and repeating the, again remember this is a dissection this is how we start and go into the stick into uh, into the uh, anatomy and uh, look here just cuz it's it's so important this is the infracochlear tunnel well okay remember this is the infracochlear tunnel and infracochlear tunnel we 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 had to talk about it a lot because it's a very important uh, uh, pneumatic or pneumatized uh, airway till that reach behind the internal carotid and reach till the petrous apex. Look here now, just by looking upward, well, again, we said that this is a cochleariform process. We know that long process of incus. Look how the incurostapedial joint is well seen, and uh, we'll see in the, the stapedectomy, endoscopic stapes surgery, and this is uh, uh, the, 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 the stapedius tendon, facial nerve here. And even if you look here, you can see part of the cog that we will see it even later in a much better way. So facial nerve, starting to see the lateral semicircular canal. Facial nerve, lateral semicircular canal, just here, cochleariform process. Cog, and now you can see a very important structure that we were, we was we were not aware of it with the microscopic surgery. It is now always seen, which is the tensor fold, and the tensor fold is so important. It delineate, it gave us lots of the anatomy and make us understand the ventilation. Usually, mostly it is it is a, a complete. Fall. We have like 70% it's complete, but sometimes it is actually uh, open and it gives an accessory ventilation to the attic. 
but also it's so important because what is underneath the tensor fold is the supratuber recess. What is above the fold is the anterior epitympanic recess. And according to its inclination, you may have a very shallow supratuber recess, or if it's inclined more and more vertical, you will have a larger supratuber recess on the expense of anterior epitympanic recess. So just, so that's actually very important to see the tensor fold. And now look here, that's actually the, we start seeing the sinus tympani. And uh, this is the pyramidal eminence and the sinus tympani with a curette. And we use a curette a lot in removing bone because we ne now need to see the, mo the most hidden recess. It used to be called the most hidden recess in the whole body, which is the sinus tympani. And look, this is the sinus tympani. This is the pyramid, pyramidal eminence, the pyramid. And look to the sinus. This is the subiculum, and this is the ponticulus. In this case, this ponticulus is a bridge ponticulus. But look here, the subiculum, the round window niche, tegment of the round window, all the area here is a posterior retro tympanum, and the area down below the subiculum is the sinus subtympanicus, and here is the sinus tympani. Look to the sinus tympani because we are seeing it well. We are visualizing. We even classify the sinus tympani into types A, B, and C according to the depths in relation to the facial nerve. Look again. That's the sinus tympani. This is a ponticulus, bridge ponticulus with different types. Look to the pyramidal recess. So now if you can see the area here is just, just posterior to the, poster, to the posterior cross of the stapes. This is the area of the posterior sinus. Posterior sinus, ponticulus, sinus tympani, and subiculum, and pyramidal recess. The area just posterior, the pyramidal, according to its configuration, you will have a posterior sinus, but you will have also, if you remove that, we will remove it, the subpyramidal recess. Look how much this area is complicated and look how much with the endoscope, it's not complicated anymore. We have sinus tympani, we have subiculum, we have ponticulus, we have posterior sinus. The area under the the, the, the pyramidal recess, it's called the subpyramidal recess. Of course, all that have uh, uh, diagrams explaining and showing that. So just we continue and look here. This is a conticulus. We start actually taking it out just to see how. And if, if the ponticulus is rich or sometimes it is confluent when it is nearly absent, but we just take it out here and you can see how the posterior sinus can be connected to the sinus tympani. A cholesteatoma, and it happens, and we see it in the matrix. It gets here, very common. It gets under the pyramidal recess, and look to the, to the, to the tendon. And even the muscle of the, of, the, of the stapedius muscle can be seen, and you can see it actually here. So this is actually just to see the sinus tympani, and uh, here is the, the tendon. Look to the to the to the incudus tapedial jo joint, and how you can see the joint perfectly. And uh, now you sh you should take a, a, a sharp instruments to this to to open the 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 the, the, the joint, the incudus tapedial joint. Better to have a sharp hook. Uh, this is a dissection. Not always you have uh, a, a instruments, but here is actually taking the incus. Uh, outside, you can do some aticotomy in the beginning, before, but or not. You take out the the incus, the whole incus, and now this is the corda tympani still in place. You can see the facial nerve here. This is the cochlear reform process. Well, this is actually here the area of the geniculate ganglion. So this is geniculate ganglion. Look here. This is the cog. This is the tendon, and this is a lateral semicircular canal. Again, I'm still using the zero degree. All that is still with the zero degree, not the 45 or the 30. 
Now we start continuing doing uh, with, with, uh, with, uh, with, we can use uh, the, 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 the best thing is to use a very good sharp uh, curette. You can use the piezo surgery. You can use uh, uh, the, the drill if you want, but the best thing is actually uh, the curette. Have a good curette. Look to the, to the foot plate of the staples and how you can visualize it well is actually here even the stachian tube orifice, the area of the geniculate ganglion, lateral canal, and even here you start seeing the, uh, the, the antrum and the aditus at antrum. Now we need to go a little bit forward. We cut now the corda tympani and we take out the malleus, and that's the remnant of the tensor fold, and just as I mentioned, the tensor, the supratuber recess, so sticky and tube orifice. Now you can see this bluish area here. This is actually the internal carotid artery. And actually now we do, and we many, many times look and, and decompress the, the, the bone over the, the internal carotid because you have to, in order to, Preserve the structure, you have to visualize it. Every structure now is, is your friend. Don't be afraid, okay? Of course, you will not take a needle and do that in, in a living, but you can remove the bone and decompress the bone from over uh, the, 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 the internal carotid if you want, because of approaches now, we have lots of endoscopic approaches getting into the petrous apex and into the lateral skull base. And that's why we started now dealing endoscopically with the internal carotid, exposing it. Look to the, to the, to the Jacobson nerve, and, uh, we, and, and here is the cochlear form, and it actually make a genio and 90 degree uh, angle, and it runs under the canal of uh, uh, the tensor muscle. We just go and uh, com continue removing the, the tympanic membrane, because this is part of one of the steps that we need when we uh, go into our transpromontorial approach. Breaking the cochlear reform process is, is one of the steps, take care. We usually do it, it's very simple, but you have to do it away from the facial nerve. And you break it downward and forward here, as you mentioned, and if you find some fibrous tissues here, you can just cut it with a scissor or with a sharp sickle knife. Here we dissect the muscle, the tensor tympani muscle from its uh, semi-canal, and we use it. We don't cut it here, we will cut it maybe, but, uh, but we, we usually use it even in blocking the stachian tube in our approaches. And uh, now we start decompressing. Look to the cog. This is the cog. So this is the anterior epitympanic recess. And we start decompressing the, the, the facial nerve we need to decompress the facial nerve area. This is the geniculate ganglion area. And we have a very intimate relation between the geniculate ganglion area and the middle fossa dura, because the middle fossa dura is sloping downward and inferior. This is the geniculate ganglion. And here that comes the, the greater petrosal nerve. And as, as I mentioned, the middle fossa dura is sloping anterior and inferior. So remember, the geniculate ganglion area comes very close to the uh, uh, dura of the middle cranial fossa. And look here, this is the Jacobson nerves that you can see going, making the 90 degree and running under the muscle, under the muscle and under the canal of the tensor muscle. Go a little bit faster now. We, this is just to show the, the round window and uh, look to the round window here. We start drilling the round window niche. We need to show to see the round window membrane, and uh, that's actually drilling. Look to the round window membrane. We start seeing the round window membrane here. We cut the the, the stapes. Take it. So this is the stapes foot plate, and uh, this is a round window. We we need to show the anatomy, and because now we are actually. Uh, progressing into the cochlea. We want to see the internal anatomy of the cochlea and the orientation. Look to the, that's actually here comes the 
the basal turn of the cochlea. For, for those who are doing the cochlear implant, they have to have the 3D anatomy of the cochlea when they have maybe faced to, to do a, 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 a cochleostomy or a second uh, turn uh, in, in insertion. You have to understand how the cochlea is, uh, is, is oriented in the temporal bone. Here is actually, we are removing the foot plate, but not as a stapes surgery, of course, we are removing it as a part of our approach to the internal auditory canal, what we call the transpromontorial approach to the internal auditory canal, because we are now actually removing the tumors and, in, in, and intracanalicular tumors from the internal auditory canal. Just to be a little bit fa faster, just to see the cochlea. Now we continue drilling of the cochlea. And uh, as you can see here, this is a vestibule, and the floor of the vestibule is actually the floor of the, the roof, the, the fundus of the internal auditory canal. We continue drilling the cochlea, the lateral wall, the promontory, lateral wall of the cochlea. We need to show the anatomy and how the cochlea is oriented. And look here, now you can see the, the, the second turn of the cochlea and the third turn and even the, the heliocotrema. So in fact, you can see the scalar tympani, scalar vestibuli of the second turn, and here is actually the last turn. And just to see the orientation well of the cochlea, look here, this is the cochlea, cochlear anatomy, the, inter, the inside of the anatomy, and even the melanocytes of the cochlea, you can see it very well. Now we are drilling the base of the osseous spiral lamina, and just by drilling, we need to keep it, we can take it out totally. Remember, we have to know the, the internal carotid. Don't forget, internal carotid. And here is your facial nerve. So we are actually working into the transpromontoria, look to the cochlea, look to the vestibule, and look to the base of the uh, uh, osseous spiral lamina. It means this is the fundus of the internal auditory canal. Well, we expect here to find the cochlear nerve. So here is your cochlear nerve now that's come here. And here is your inferior vestibular nerve because this is the vestibule. And then you will go anterior here, and you, will, you should see the facial nerve. So just to be a little bit fast because of the time, look here. Now we are seeing the fundus of the internal auditory canal. This is a facial nerve and, 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 and geniculate ganglion. So if you look here, look here. This is the facial nerve, geniculate ganglion in cochlea. Look to the orientation of the cochlea. Here was your basal turn. This is the, the infracochlear tunnel, don't forget. And here was the, the, the round window and the vestibule that is open. Here you have the cochlear nerve, inferior vestibular, and you will have here, in turn, here your facial nerve. Facial nerve come like that, comes, this is the labyrinthine segment, which you usually say, you know, when we look at it from the middle fossa, it's between the cochlea and the superior semicircular canal, which is here. So you have the facial nerve in the internal auditory canal, labyrinthine segment, geniculate ganglion, tympanic segment, the, the genio, and then comes uh, 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 the mastoid segment, vertical segment. The internal carotid artery, the eustachian tube, and where is the jugular bulb? This is the remaining part that, I, because of the time we didn't have, but we were actually identifying the jugular bulb. If we say we have an approach called the transpromontorial approach, look how uh, the, the, the orientation and the boundaries of your approach, this is, a trans, this is the cochlea here and the internal carotid. I know the time is over, but just to be uh, uh, well oriented, that's actually here. See how the cochlea is oriented, the facial nerve, the geniculate, uh, supratuber recess was here, anterior epitympanic, and that's actually here, the, uh, everything. Uh, just to show better, the, that's actually here, I'm drilling to show well the, the jugular bulb 
but that's actually here in, in uh, uh, widening more and, and exposing the internal auditory canal from underneath. We have here, as I mentioned, the jugular bulb, and here is just to show more the, 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 the nerves. That's actually the cochlear nerve. I am, uh, I'm, I'm taking it out, the, the inferior vestibular and superior vestibular. I am just leaving here the, uh, the facial nerve. So here is your cochlea. I took out and actually uh, 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 the cut, the, 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 the cochlear nerve and vestibular nerve, leaving only the facial nerve here. This is the dura, facial nerve and, uh, uh, and cochlea. So just here, of course, now if you just go here, we will be into the, uh, uh, look, I'm just cutting and keeping the, here the facial nerve intact. This is the cochlear. We are into the CP angle. So we reach the CP angle. And if we still have a very small part of the tumor, we can take it out. But now this is the area here, just anterior to the internal auditory meatus. This is the, 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 the back uh, uh, wall of the, of the temporal bone. And you take it out and you can see it here. So just as a final view uh, of of the of the orientation that's actually the brain stem i was showing the brain stem and here is a facial nerve just brain stem and finally just to 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 be oriented finally facial nerve geniculate ganglion labyrinthine segment inter, internal auditory canal segment of the facial nerve you can see the whole lens course of the uh, facial nerve. You can see the orientation of the cochlea. Don't forget the internal carotid artery here. And don't forget down here is your uh, uh, jugular bulb. So that's what we call the journey from the external auditory canal till the internal auditory canal exposing everything in